Hi guys. Well, uh, this morning there were a lot of pigeons about, so I thought I should try and get one for my supper. So I succeeded. It's a nice wood pigeon. And uh, my plan is to have some nettles as my vegetable cooked up and obviously have the pigeon and even an egg as well, which I'll show you how I'm going to cook. So it should be fun. I am, um, by the way, the rifle I use is a 2-2, it's a Ruger, and the bullets I use are subsonic, for those of you who are interested. <laughs> so the plan of action is, uh, yeah, I'm going to light the fire, pick the nettles, light the fire, prep the, um, field prep the pigeon, cook it, and have a great supper. So the aim with collecting nettles for, uh, as a vegetable, or to cook with is collect them obviously somewhere where there is no pesticides so not on agricultural land where they just sprayed not on roadsides where there's a lot of traffic so sort of woodland environments or just out the way places is a good place to look for nettles they need to be you don't want to get the whole plant you really just want to get the tips the very tips of the plants and here you can see, uh, where are we? These are the very tips. I'm just going to go down a bit and you can see. These tips here, which are um, nice and light green and fresh growth. So I'm going to get these, pop them in my billy can, and I'll keep collecting and, and I'm going to fill it fill the billy can right up because they're like spinach, they reduce a lot. And then we'll um, steam them up. Okay, so as you can see, I've got a pretty full billy can full of nettles, which uh, will do one person, I guess, but we'll see quantity-wise. As I say, when it's steamed and, and cooked, it does reduce a lot. So now I've done that, um, I'll get the fire going and then I'll prep the pigeon and uh, get things rolling. Okay, we're rocking now. So uh, we'll go straight to the next stage of fire burning. We're going to go and do the uh, pigeon prep when I've got this going. Okay, so what I'm interested in is um, in the pigeon is just taking its the breasts off and uh, eating those. There's nothing else really to worth eating. What I'm going to do with the carcass is um, there's a buzzard around here who has been here for a while. So I'll put the carcass out in the field and. He or she will benefit from it too, so nothing will be wasted. So with the um, the pigeon, all you want to do is take off the feathers at the front. Exposing the breast of the, of the pigeon, very easy. Quite a fat bird. Get these feathers out of the way. So you've got the, the breast there. Then what you want to do is take a knife. I've got my Azula. I should have actually taken the paracord off because I don't want to get any blood on it. So I'll do that after I've um, uh, taken the breast off just to save time. And then, because I'm going to use this for eating afterwards, so I'll definitely take the paracord off. So you want to find the breastbone, and then just slice, and then follow the breastbone down, trying to stick to the to the rib cage. And 
and then we should be able to peel off if I put this here peel off the actual breast itself so there's one one of the breasts has got feathers on I'll clean it up in a minute I've got a piece of paper here there's one one breast here we do the same on the other side. Doing a rather messy job here because I'm rushing it. Same on the other side. Find the breastbone, cut close, and then sort of scoop down. I took a body shot this so it's uh it's kind of messy. Again. For some reason today the feathers are all everywhere. I think because I'm filming it. <laughs> and then again you find the edge of the skin and you peel. There's, there's a hell of a lot better um, videos on this on YouTube. When you peel back, if I can get it off. Oh, there we go. You peel back the breast. Now the skin's still on this one, so we'll take it off. There we go. So it's not the best of um, examples of how to. <laughs> to uh, take the breasts off a pigeon, but you get the gist. And uh, anyway, as I say, this pigeon's not gonna go to waste. A buzzard will eat it probably. So I'm gonna clean myself up now. I've got some water. Ah. Which is here. I'll just get this off my hands. So I'll, I'll rinse these too, which I can't really do it in camera. I can sort of. Not a very big, big meal, but it'll do. I'll rinse off the uh, the knife too. And what I'll also do is, um, in my bag, I have. I can find it. I have some, um, where are we, some uh, anti antibacterial hand gel, which I'll, I'll just wipe over the knife because I want to disinfect it. It's just, uh, what's it called, camp hygiene. So I'll just smooth that on there and then I'll wipe it off. Okay, so now we've done that, we'll go back to camp, or well, not camp, back to the fire and uh, Start cooking it. So everything is um, kind of ready to go on. I think uh, I'm going to put the nettles on first. What I'm going to first of all do, I've got this um, homemade little spice and herb container. It's like from an old vitamin bottle. And uh, in here, I've got loads of different spices and herbs and including salt. So I reckon it's going to need a bit of salt. So, in the nettles, and also on the pigeon too. So if I can just undo that. Where's my salt? Uh, there we go. So these are just straws that I've sealed. I can do a video on them if you like, but they're very easy to make. Seal at one end, seal at the other end with a little, oh, it's going to come out now, with a little cap, and then I can just open it. You've got, I don't know if you can see it, I'm just going to put a bit of salt on. You've got a neat little salt container. That should be enough, I'd have thought. Put that back on, pop it back in its container. So I'm just going to add not too much water. I need enough water to boil it and to kind of steam it. So I reckon that's about enough. 
Now this is the bit which uh, uh, quiet, somebody called, well, one of the channels called Quiet Woods kind of challenged me in one of his comments saying, in my zebra billy can review, he said, okay, let's see what you can do with the lid. Or not the lid, the uh, pan. So I was debating what I could do with it. And I came up with the idea of trying to cook an egg in it whilst cooking underneath, cooking uh, stuff underneath. So, oh, I've just got to get me oil. So yeah, so I had to go at this and it worked last time. I've got an old, another little container. This is a shower gel from a hotel room. And I pulled out the shower gel, gave it a good wash, and I keep olive oil in here now. It's just about the right quantity for a few overnight, you know, camp outs. So I'm going to put a little bit in there. Then I'm going to get the egg from one of my chickens. Not for you, Sky. You're standing right behind me. <laughs> and I'm going to crack it in there. So there we have an egg. I'll put the lid on top. Now, in theory, if I can move this over here, I'm going to um, put it on the fire. And in theory, the egg should slowly cook while the uh, while the nettles are cooking. So I'll put that on there. This is the same setup as I had in the solo vid, the solo campout vid. I actually, whoops, let me just roll it up a bit. There we go, that's better. Yeah, as I say, it's the same, the same setup. I actually bought the uh, sticks back from where I was camping overnight, because rather than cutting some more. So that is going to get going now. So now all I need to do is prep the uh, pigeon. Okay, so here's the pigeon in all its glory. Um, as I, said, I made a bit of a, a hash of <laughs> of uh, preparing it, but it was video nerves, I reckon. Anyway, um, all I'm going to do with this is just pour a tiny bit of oil on it, just a smidge. I can rub that in, and uh, a little bit of pepper. Again, in another similar container. Ooh. and a little bit of salt and that's all I'm going to do. I don't want to do anything else to it because it's, it's so fresh and I don't want to start covering up the taste with other kind of herbs and spices. Now all I need to do is uh, find something to cook it on. I've got an idea. I want, I want to get a Y-shaped stick and uh, kind of hold it over the fire. So let me go and have a look for one. Okay, so I found a Y-shaped stick. I'm just going to sort of make it really fine at the tip here so that the um, meat can sit on it fairly nicely. I'm hoping with this bend here, when I stick it in the meat, it'll sort of grab it better because there'll be some flex in it, but we'll see. This is an experiment, I have to say. I just have to be quite careful because if it's too fine it's going to break. Just need to get some off here too. On the other side. I just want it to be as smooth as possible. I don't want to shorten it. Okay, let's give that a go. Right. Now I'm hoping that this 
going to grab. Oh, there's a tear in there, that's the trouble. Sky, get your nose out of it. Sky thinks this is her dinner. Right, there's one. I'm just kind of squeezing the forks together while I put them on. And then when I let it go, they sort of... I don't know if you can see. I squeeze them together a bit when I put them on, and then when I let go, they kind of go apart, which kind of grabs the meat, in theory, as I say. So, I think it's time to cook it now. Okay, so, there's certainly enough, he enough heat here. And luckily the stick's just about long enough to, uh, to stop me burning my hand. get it sizzling then I can show you. It's going to take a while. Well guys it's been about mm, 15 minutes now. The uh, I think the pigeon is cooking very well. I think it's just about there. I reckon. And what we'll do is we'll take the billy can off and check the egg. Which I'll do now. And see how that's done. Oh, look at that. <gasps> that looks good. Is that in focus? I hope so. And then underneath, I don't know how hot this is. That's oh, okay ish. Underneath, we've got the spinach, which has cooked well. So I'm going to plate it up and present it like Gordon Ramsay. <laughs> so, guys, here it is. I didn't want to use a plastic plate because it sort of, I don't know, goes against my principles when I'm outside. So uh, I brought one of my square wooden mats up. And I have to say, it kind of looks good. So, I'm going to dig in. Let's take a bit of that. I haven't actually got the right, I haven't got a fork on me, so yeah, that's fine. These are my implements. Mmm, <laughs> that's really good. I just put a bit more olive oil on the spinach. Now I know this isn't exactly kind of a filling meal, but uh, I just wanted to use as much as I could from outside resources. The chicken egg was from my chicken, so that's, you know, near enough. And uh, the pigeon, well that was out here this morning and uh, that's great. I mean, it was handy. <laughs> mm. That's really good too. I think I could have cooked it for a tiny bit less, but as I say, and this, uh, the nettles are very, very high in iron, really, really full of minerals. And the uh, pigeon is very lean too. So I'm going to sit down and enjoy it now. Well, I reckon Sky should have some too. Is that good? Anyway, thanks for watching.